The mighty Neil Turbin of Death Riders and formerly of Anthrax. What's hey, happening, brother? Thank you, Ace. Appreciate that. And um, yeah, we're just great to, to be back out rocking it and um, thrashing it and uh, kicking some butt. And thank yes. you for taking care of us. Absolutely, man. Anytime. So... Anytime. Ace reality check is always on the list, brother. Ah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You deserve that. All right, we've been, so. We've been th through too many battles together, so. Well, you know, hell, I mean, just, just the 70, mere fact. 70 mile an hour wins. So. I know, just the mere fact that we nearly got crushed by the stage. There she blows, huh? <laughs> So Death Riders is uh, still alive and kicking, and uh, we just rehearsed on Friday night. Actually, Dave Reffitt came down and ha hung out with us, and uh, you know, we jammed a little bit. So we're we're just in a reorganization moment, um, you know, replacing one more guitar player. We have one guitar player that we're working with. Uh, we lost two guitar guitarists back after our House of Blues gig in L.A., which was a great show for us. And um, I guess it was so great that. Uh, other people saw it was great enough that they wanted our guitar players, so there you go. I think being around people that have a mutual respect is something that in certain bands did not exist whatsoever, but in other bands, it's, it's the fabric by which the band is, is, exists. And I have a, a great for respect for you know, some of my friends that are, not just some of my friends, but certain bands that, that you know, I happen to have friends in those bands, and they're just really tight, you know, really close bands. I mean, the people are really, you know, really, really, um, they, they get along really well. They hang out together because there are bands where people don't ever talk to one another except right. for the band room. Yeah. I mean, you could go down the laundry list of, you know, Especially the bigger name band. names yeah. in, in yeah, rock. Now, that, now it's a job. They show up, they, they strap it on, they get ready to go out, they play, and then they all go their separate ways. The reality is, yeah, you don't have to be best friends, but you know what? It's a lot nicer if you have a good relationship with people that you work with regularly and I think that's important and to me it's important because you know I think better things come out of that better better um, end result you know live uh, better chemistry and and of course recording wise you know you, you have people that are intuitive about each other and it's not just about look at me you know what's that thing that the kid at the pool does look at me mommy daddy yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna do a trick now it's yeah, like yeah, yeah. all the attention it's like yeah. I don't care about that yeah. I care about like how about all of us together? What would that look like if we're all like, yeah. you know, Close tighter knit, than ever? Bonded, you know. That's more powerful than one person. I agree. But Death Riders, you know, I mean, it's it's all about doing what's right for the fans and, and coming out with, you know, hard and heavy shit, you know, in your face and relentless stuff. And One would hope. Yeah, well, that's... If you guys go wussy on me, I'm going to be disappointed. Well, you know, I can sing dynamically, so I'm not going to, you know, turn my back on that, but I think using that in a way that's heavy as hell and, and just, you know, no holding back, I think that's that's really where I'm coming from. I'm, I'm an intense guy, I'm an, I'm an intense singer, and... That's what I am. I hadn't noticed. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> now you know. Now you know. Now you know. If you didn't know before, now you know. Excellent. It's a pleasure to see you, Ace, man. Thanks so much. Thank you, brother. And uh, so here we are, day one. More yet to come at NAM 2012, baby. That's right. Stay thrashing. Metal thrashing, man!